All right, so we started with this uh, 18 resistor, 12 junction, 120 volt circuit. And this was the first drawing. This was just breaking the battery in half and drawing it out in a line. And we, we did that in class. And let me just work through crushing it down. Remember, you can only combine resistors if everything you're combining is series or everything you're combining is parallel. You can't combine things that have series or and parallel in them together. It has to be done individually. So here in the first one, what I've done is this resistor 7 and 8 I've combined into a, a single 20 ohm resistor using the series addition rule. And 9 and 10 are also in series and I combine them into a single 60 ohm resistor. And resistors 12, 13, and 14 I use the parallel rule, which was the you take the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals, you get a 6 ohm resistor. Resistors 15, 16, and 17 were combined in the same way to get a single 13.3 ohm resistor. And resistors 2 and 3 were combined the same way to get a single 12 ohm resistor. And then you have choices. You can do different things. It won't matter mathematically. But if you go to the next one here, I've combined here, if you look here, uh, this combined resistor 7, 8, and 9, 10 into a single 15 ohm resistor using the parallel reciprocal rule. And then in the next step, I combined between these four that comprise resistor 7 all the way through 17 by adding those series resistors into a, sing into a single 44.3 ohm resistor. I combined resistors 5 and 6 in series into a single 50 ohm resistor, and then one through four into a single 52 ohm resistor. And now these three are in parallel with one another, so I can take the reciprocals of each of them and then take the reciprocal of that to get a single 16.2 ohm resistor. And now I'm left with just two resistors in series. You add them up and you get a single 46.2 ohm resistor, 120 volts. And now we can solve for the total current in the system, 120 volts over 46.2 amps or 46.2 uh, ohms of resistance gives me 2.6 amps. Now we get to go back up through, and I'm sorry this may get a little messy and a little crowded. That's why I color code. The current is blue, the resistance is black, and the voltage is red, just to sort of at least keep some neatness to it. Um, so this single 46.2 ohm resistor was actually two resistors in series. And the series rule is, is that current is the same everywhere. So I get to take that 2.6 amps, and now I get to solve for voltage. And voltage is current times resistance, so I, I'll solve for voltage at both of these. And now resistor 18 is done. It's by itself. It's an original single resistor. Uh, but this other resistor with a voltage of 42.1 and a current of 2.6 amps is actually a conglomeration of the other 17 resistors, so it's not done yet. But it was actually three resistors in parallel, so I get to take that 42.1 voltage up to all three of those and solve for current. Current is voltage over resistance, and I get 0 0.81, 0 0.84, and 0.95 amps through each of those. None of those are done. They're all conglomerations of several resistors, so there, there's no uh, final answer in this for me. But I do note that the one on top there for resistors uh, 7 through 17 is actually four resistors in series, so that 0.95 amps is, goes to all of those in series. The middle line here, the 50 ohm, 50 ohm resistor has 0.84 amps, but that's actually these two in series up here, so the 0.84 goes up there. And the 0.81 down here on this bottom resistor was actually a combination of these three resistors in series, so I take the current with me. And for all of these, I then solve for the voltage. And now if you look, resistor 1 is done, resistor 4 is done, resistors 5 and 6 are completed, and resistor 11 is completed. Nothing else is done, though. I need to keep going. And if 
you look here, what I did in the next step was I took this, see this one up here, this 7 through 10, I actually broke it up into these two in parallel, which means I bring the voltage up, 14.3 volts, solve for current. And then I have other ones to do. I have uh, other parallel ones. So this, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do the series first, sorry. Um, 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 were actually these two resistors broken up into, into series. So the, so the current goes with both of them. Sorry. And then you solve for voltage. And that means resistors 7, 8, 9, and 10 are all done now. And then you move over to resistors 12 through 14. It was actually three series in, uh, three resistors in parallel. So you take the voltage with you. The same with resistors 15 through 17. You take its voltage up with you, and that was from the previous page. And then you solve for current. And those resistors are all done now. And then we have this final set, this bottom one down here, resistor 2 and 3, which we solved before was actually resistors 2 and 3 in parallel. So we bring that voltage up, 9.7, solve for current, and it's all done. I know this is uh, very complicated and lots of steps to do, and it gets really messy. But I, I think if you just, you just realize that when you're crunching them down, you use the, the series R equation where you just add them up, or the parallel R equation where you add up the reciprocals and then take the reciprocal of that. So those equations are used to collapse it down to one resistor and then find current. And then you use the two rules where for series you, you take the current goes to series and for parallel the voltage goes with parallel. If you break it down into, it's just the same thing step after step. It is a lot of steps, but it's a pretty straightforward logical process. So here's the answers to all of the uh, current and voltage at every one of the resistors. And uh, we'll move on with an a even bigger circuit next time. Thank you.